president of Etiosa community has called on the state government to come to their aid as regards disturbances being faced by the locality in respect to the outflow of the water body surrounding them. Recall that signs that show the dark breakage in the ozone layer of the earth has led to the melting of the icebergs, thereby resulting in the increase in water body surrounding the earth. Saying to residents of the affected community, the National Emergency Management Agency, in conjunction with the Lagos State House of Assembly, came together to distribute incentives, noting that more will be done to assist the community. The representative of the State House of Assembly gave his words on the initiative, noting his dissatisfaction on the manner at which residents of the community live their lives. Until the federal government comes to their aid permanently to do a permanent, uh, put a permanent effort in place so that we don't have back and forth of this ocean, you know, surge, like they did in the other side of the Tiosa, uh, towards, um, uh, 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 what's this beach again, uh, close to Victoria Island. At least today they have peace. So we want peace in this community too. And then I know the federal government will come to their aid and then fix it. But in the interim, we have come to share with them, to identify with them that yes, we are representing them and we will not be quiet until something meaningful is done. Also, a legal practitioner representing a Tionsa community spoke on the manner at which the water body has greatly affected the locality, stating that many have been rendered homeless and propters in their millions destroyed. The, what we are here is to re the federal government of Nigeria, uh, that's President Muhammadu Buhari, as well as our governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Shola Sonwolu, to see the urgent need uh, to come to the aid of the affected communities within Alpha Beach, Lafayette, Okumoko, Axis, and the Bejuleki environs of Lagos State, which is um, these areas are now um, being threatened by the ensuing ocean surge, which is fast eating deep. You can see where we are now. Look at the water here. It's as a result of the water coming from the sea. The community aired alongside the chairman, Etiosa Water Surge, expressed their gratitude to the gesture and also called on the government, be it state or federal, to come to their aid and assist the residents. We appeal to federal government to look at the way, how the ocean is worrying us in this uh, our community area here. Because if you look at Babish now, they have do uh, they have some feed, some area there, which is supposed to came this area. Let us let it be the same thing as Babish as is it is now. So let we pay to the federal government to continue like that. Let the ocean dress back for us and do the piling for us, do the sand filling, so that we will not worry our community again. Well, I want them to help us come and do the embankment and reclamation through the ecological fund from the federal government to the state government, so that they could do it as like a bad beach own. The way they do in bad beach, they should do the same thing as a phase two so that everybody in these houses can come back to their father's land and activities will come back like the business we are doing before. We have a challenge, we sell drinks, we sell coconuts, fish, etc. But now nothing, no business, no house, jobless and homeless. The flow of water is said to be continuous and cannot be stopped. So therefore, creating a pathway for it is of utmost importance, as the government thereby have a lot to do ensuring the easy passage of the water body and the safety of its citizens in general. From Lagos, Emmanuel Ulubububu, Captain Television.